I love to film, I love to take photographs. I never go out without a camera. Which is convenient considering filming is my job, and most of my work is making documentaries. And of course I love to try out new cameras. So when I was given a chance to shoot with the new PXW FS5, the baby brother of the FS7, of course I said yes. The appeal of the FS5 for me is a potential B camera to my FS7. Something smaller, but very similar. And what's the best way to assess whether a camera could be a good B camera? Well, that's to try it out as an A camera. And that doesn't mean just getting random shots on Brighton Beach. So I decided to shoot a mini dock using the FS5 as the camera, the A camera, the only camera. I needed a subject that had an interesting story and the potential to capture lovely visuals that would take advantage of many of the features of the camera. Can you stand in, please? Such as the cached high frame rate mode, 4K for my interviews, because when I'm editing on an HD timeline, I love that ability to crop in and change the frame when I want to. And its size. The FS5 is much smaller and lighter than the FS7. So, a lightweight slider and my three axis gimbal stabilizer. And so a smaller, lighter camera with similar features, that really interests me. And the subject that I found, who coincidentally happens to live near Brighton. shapes. I use a chisel to whack it down and I also sand with a sanding disc I just move it across the surface in the later stages and uh, I use paint as well quite a lot. The first thing that I, I do is draw um, quite extensively, uh, quite in intensively. After that I, I select my material and I start, I start cutting, I start to uh, cutting and, and gluing pieces together. I like the very early stages very much, when it's just, just, a, just emerging, and I like the very later stages. It can be very hard work and very repetitive in the middle. It's, it's, you, I definitely have to stick at it. It's difficult to know how long these things take and to put an exact timetable is hard. You need a, some sort of timetable, otherwise you never do anything. I once made a duck in 10 days. Wasn't, I'm not very happy about it, looking back, but uh, I, I, I can take years to make. I made a bull that took me, took, took me two or three years. Um, these vultures are taking an incredible amount of time. They're, they're complicated and I changed my mind about how to do it, how to make it all the time. Mostly floorboards, um, or old matchboard, are the, these are the materials I use. I'm always looking for wood and I find very little these days. I think everyone else is doing the same thing. It's also got rather regulated and controlled. I mean, it, people don't like you sniffing around their skips anymore. <laughs> we only have one piece in, in the house, actually. Uh, in fact, it's barely in the house, it's in the, in the front entrance. It's a, it's a, it's a flamingo. Um, one of the, no, the thing is, I have to sell them. It's necessary to sell, really. And also, there's not that much room indoors. So, they're, they're, they have to go. A man in, in um, Oklahoma, or Tulsa, Oklahoma, built an extension to his house to put my to house my camel, and that camel was later joined by an ostrich. I, I was very flattered. I'm happy people like it, especially if they buy it. I think that's quite a compliment. I like them all, actually. I like my ostrich. I like my camel. I like them all. Um, one or two I haven't liked, but I. I prefer not to think about those. 
I am a perfectionist, and but it can become neurotic as you as you redo and redo and rehash and redo and rehash the same piece of work. It, it can actually get worse sometimes. I realise when I come down in the morning, I think that's a really dreadful, that's appalling, and um, time to stop and rethink this. I'm very pleased when I finish, but then I, when it's gone, after a few days, I really miss it very much almost always.